What's going on with Maleficent 2? Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's coming out this, um, in, it's October, right? Yes, oh, my God. So you're, ra- so you're done. We are done. How I was that going it. back to, going back to that? It was so interesting because I was, it, the movie, the first movie came out when I was 16, but I filmed it when I was 14. So it was, it's been six years yes. since I've revisited Aurora and her character. I mean, she's. She's a young woman. She's yes. completely grown up now. Um, our cast is like amazing. Michelle Pfeiffer is kind of this baddie. Um, and she would tell Edgefor and obviously Angelina, uh, who's just absolutely I mean do you call her the, Angie everybody kind yeah, of called yeah. her I, I, I wasn't gonna like yeah. do that yeah, you know yeah. But, um yeah but sometimes I, I guess a mix How was yeah, Angie? Yeah. yeah um and seeing her again and also just be coming into that environment also having grown I was like yes. I'm 20 now and her seeing me in a different way us relating in a different way it was really really fun I've never done a sequel to a movie before so um and so coming back to a part and being like how do I want to explore this and also getting like over the years of feedback from people of loving the first film mm-hmm. and especially young girls and like what do I want to show those young girls who 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 love the first one it definitely follows the mother daughter relationship of Maleficent and Aurora, that dynamic. It's definitely, it's like very, very family. Yes, which um, is which is such a fraught relationship. Anyway, yes. I think that's so interesting because I agree with you that a lot of girls like mm-hmm. do look, do look mm-hmm. to you and that's interesting that you have to kind of think about that going mm-hmm. forward. Like what kind of, now that Aurora's, a, she's a woman, like yes. she's a young woman, yes. what kind of person, mm-hmm. you know, do I want to put forward and balancing that with mm-hmm. like the Disney world, you, you know what I yes, mean? And I, like, how much a princess do you want to be versus? Yes, it's I, it's interesting and you know, I know, and it, but also staying staying true to Aurora and who she is because this was something that, Angie and I talked about of um cuz obviously she's like the badass you yeah. know and she you know she's maleficent and 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 you know she is in all black and and flying around and she has these special powers and I mean in Aurora she's got headgear yeah she does yes um she has the horns um and and Aurora you know is is kind of the is that princess you know she'd love she wears pink and she's the one and there was something beautiful that we talked about that kind of making her love her femininity she is a girl that she can still be strong and love her femininity at the same time and there's nothing wrong with that so you're not you're not going to necessarily see aurora like in armor right you know which a lot of sometimes they do take it to that place um but i think there there is a but she is extremely strong willed and is making her own decisions in this film and is completely a young woman and and growing up and making a lot of tough choices but it's kind of beautiful to see her doing that she's like i can do that in this like in this dress and yeah. like, i'm cool you know and yeah. like it was, she's very she's a a strong like girly girl whatever that means but she um she definitely is feminine yes which is kind of beautiful about her 